Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Before I start, once again, check out the Wrestling Psychos group channel. I'm gonna be doing raw reviews, pay per view reviews on this page with maybe impacts, shit like this there, perhaps the NXTs, and I'm gonna do videos for Raw and pay-per-views on the group channel, um, Smackdown reviews, maybe some indie wrestling reviews, and perhaps the NXTs and the impacts down the line. If people don't watch those on this page, so. Plus, I'm gonna do a lot of other stuff on that channel. 100% wrestling. You're gonna get lots of content on that page, and it's gonna be, you know, a bit different from this channel, so. Yeah! Raw! We're back in the land of suckage, people. The last couple weeks, We've been getting good wrestling. Last night, not good wrestling. Bad, boring wrestling is what we got. It started off with The Authority and Roman Reigns. Apparently, Dean Ambrose wasn't there. So Roman Reigns, for some reason, was talking with Rollins. They wanted to use Dean's popularity to put over Roman Reigns because, you know, most hardcore fans think he sucks. So they came up with some Cena, Zack Ryder type of shit to put over Roman Reigns by using Dean Ambrose. Um, eventually, Seth Rollins started freaking out, doing some bad acting. I'm upset! I'm upset! Screw the authority, I'm putting my belt on the line. Very cheap segment, in my opinion. Some bad overacting on the part of Seth Rollins. Um, in the first match, Roman Reigns defeated Wade Barrett. The match was okay. And by okay, I mean it felt long and it was boring. <laughs> That's what I mean by, okay, when you have a match where nothing happens, that doesn't mean that it's good. Because it doesn't completely suck, that doesn't mean that it's solid and entertaining. It just means it's boring. Then we were supposed to have a match between Ryback and The Miz. Big Show came out, he punched The Miz. And apparently we're going to have a feud between Ryback and the Big Show. Big Show said, you know, you called yourself the big guy. Well, you got nothing on the Big Show. So basically, because both guys have the word big in their name, that's a feud. That's it. They both have the word big. Therefore, that's a match that's pay-per-view quality, apparently. Big show. Big guy. There's your pay-per-view right there. What the fuck kind of dumb fucking garbage is this? No other point to this. Since when does Big Show fight for the IC title? Must have had a retard backstage. Big guy, Big Show. Good enough, what the fuck is that? It's only because of the word big that they're gonna fight at the pay-per-view. Nothing else. Then we had a good promo from Kevin Owens talking about John Cena. And Cena came out cutting the same promo that he always cuts, that he wants to save the children. Oh, that kid there. That kid, and that kid with the sign about cancer, okay, that kid was an obvious plant. I don't want to sound like a dick, 
Okay, it's a nice thing if if kids like see no good for them. But that shit was an obvious plant. Using children and diseases in order to put himself over is lame on Cena's part. An obvious fucking plant right there, okay? Um, Owens did a nice promo and Cena made me sick. So you can have that segment uh, divided in half. Good on Owens, sucky with Cena. Second match, Dolph Ziggler defeated Kofi Kingston with a quick roll-up. So nothing happened, really. Then we get in the third match again. Ziggler and primetime players versus the New Day. And Ziggler and the primetime players won. Not a really good match, just a match again where nothing's happening. Not entertaining, fuck all. Fourth match, we get another Roman Reigns match. He defeated Mark Henry by count out in a couple minutes, which was cheap. Very cheap. You had wrestlers doing the multiple match per night type deal there. And they would have good matches to impress people. Reigns beating Mark Henry in 10 seconds by count out. That doesn't impress me anyway. Fifth match, Nikki Bella defeated Paige with twin magic. Fuck. You know, isn't that shit done there? Haven't they done this garbage to death? Why can't they just put the belt on Paige and get it over with? This sick ma twin magic shit is just looks fucking fake and ridiculous. Brie is like half the size of Nikki. Different fucking hair and everything. Wouldn't the ref notice this? Oh, she put on the same shorts and socks as her. If I come in the ring dressed like Cena, am I going to look like him because I have the same shorts? She has a different body, different hair. I mean, come on. This looks fucking dumb. And it's fucking overdone. Fucking stupid. Very crappy. Um, sixth match. Um, Sheamus. Uh, I, yeah, Orton defeated Sheamus by DQ. You get nothing, then a DQ. How exciting. How fucking amazing. Seventh match. Adrian Neville defeated Bo Dallas in like a minute and 40 something seconds so you do a bunch of recycled matches some wrestlers were wrestling eight times roman reigns had like 16 matches on raw and you give a minute long match to neville the guy that can actually wrestle and impress people using wrestling moves why not remove one of the New Day matches and give a fucking at least three minute match to Neville so that he can showcase a bit of talent? The fuck's this? You have a guy who can impress people. You give him a minute match. What's the point? What's the fucking point of this? Very dumb. And in the main event, once again, Roman Reigns defeated Bray Wyatt, okay? Roman Reigns has three matches. First of all, the guy does fucking three moves per match. Why, why would you have three identical matches? He's not the kind of guy that can pull off these multiple matches. He kept doing the same fucking shit. We saw like 50 Superman punches, for fuck's sakes. Why would they think that this is entertainment? Last week they had their lowest May rating in the last 20 years or something. Why the fuck are they doing this? Were they purposely trying to lose ratings or what? The fuck was the point of this? And Roman Reigns has three matches. 
and he ends up beating Bray Wyatt. How weak does Bray Wyatt look? He can't even beat a man that's wrestled three times in the same night. This is the guy who almost beat The Undertaker at Mania. Bray Wyatt can't beat a man who wrestled three times. Plus, he, there's interference to help Bray Wyatt win. And he can't even win. What the hell's that? Match wasn't even that good either. Reigns winning with a fucking cheap ass looking spear. This show fucking sucked. Okay, Kevin Owens did a, a good little promo there that was fucking ruined by Cena. The rest was cheap and fucking sucky and boring. The best part of the night was a fucking milkshake segment with Macho Man Dow and Axel Mania. That was maybe the most entertaining part of the show. How fucking sad was this? Very fucking sad. The show fucking sucks straight up. Until next time. Peace.